Hello, today we're going to talk about why validated encryption should be a key element in your mobile solution. Hi, I'm Paul Dupont, Vice President of Innovation and Technology with Global Technology, and today I have with me the founder and CEO of SafeLogic, Ray Potter. Welcome, Ray. Thanks, Paul. Happy to be here. Founded in 1997 in Athens, Greece, Globo has evolved into a solutions provider focusing on enterprise mobility management and mobile application development with locations worldwide. Globo is traded on the London AIM Stock Exchange. Globo recently expanded its presence in the U.S. market with the acquisition of Notify Technology focusing on mobile device management and SourceBit was focusing on design-led development. Ray, tell us about SafeLogic. SafeLogic provides compliant encryption products for mobile, server, appliance, wearable, and IoT environments. We're founded in 2012, privately held, and based in Palo Alto. So why is encryption so important? Over 81 million records were compromised in 2014 from companies like Target, Home Depot, JP Morgan, all reporting major breaches. Business and healthcare represent over 75% of the breaches, with healthcare representing 42% despite HIPAA regulations. Data loss protection is a major element for security and compliance, requiring data to be encrypted, in use, in motion, and at rest. If data is not encrypted in all three stages, it becomes vulnerable. FIPS 140-2 was established to set the standard for encryption products used by U.S. federal agencies to process non-classified information. Independent third-party labs test cryptographic modules against the standard. Ray, what is the current requirement for non-classified encryption in the federal market? FISMA requires government agencies to procure FIPS 140-2 validated solutions. Unvalidated cryptography is considered equal to having no encryption at all. And as a result, any solution that leverages encryption must be FIPS 140-2 validated. This includes major mobility projects at the Air Force, the VA, and the State Department. But meeting government mandates for encryption is the tip of the iceberg. Paul, what other verticals require FIPS level encryption? Healthcare has really embraced mobility, but HIPAA compliance still remains a challenge. The High Tech Act requires breach notifications only if patient information has not been encrypted. The Safe Harbor Clause states that encrypted data is secure, even if lost. Without encryption, there's no safe harbor. For PCI compliance, we need encryption for individuals' name, address, credit card information, and more. Between 2013 and 2014, over 37% of energy companies were hacked. In each regulated industry, FIPS 140-2 is a de facto standard meeting the government's benchmark for encryption. Ray, can you tell us what it means to be FIPS 140-2 validated? FIPS validated means that it's tested and listed on the CMPP website. FIPS enabled, FIPS conforming, etc. are terms for products that have not been validated. FIPS compliant means that the module has been tested by others, but likely for a different environment. FIPS 140-2 is the current revision of the standard. Levels 2, 3, and 4 add requirements for physical security that aren't relevant for software modules, which typically target level 1. The only true way to verify claims is to see your vendor certificate listed on the CMVP website. Ray, what is the actual process to earn that validation? CMVP is only the final step of a very long and expensive four-stage process. Vendors must contract with a testing laboratory and typically a consultant. Next, vendors must document their encryption module against the standard. Third, the lab puts the module and its algorithms through a testing panel, and documentation is reviewed for completeness and accuracy. Finally, the CMVP reviews the test report and the security policy of the module. Prohibitive hard and soft costs have created a barrier to entry, keeping the young and innovative companies out of the bidding for valuable contracts. The process can take 9 to 19 months, which means the technology being tested may be out of date or possibly even obsolete. Speaking of which, I'm very proud to announce that we were awarded our validation certificates from NIST with the help of our partner, SafeLogic. This means Globo's encryption is now U.S. federal agency approved. Globo has been awarded two certificates, one for iOS and Android mobile devices and the other for Windows Server, now providing an end-to-end -end secure solution. Make sure you check out the resources on our website or contact us directly. 
Ray, I want to thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Paul.